do buildings need to breathe? Let's start by conceding that pretty much no one who says that buildings need to breathe actually believes that buildings are alive and literally possess functioning respiratory systems. It's a figure of speech, and it's totally okay to use figures of speech even in technical conversations. We don't pour concrete, we place concrete, or we cast concrete, but no one is confused when a contractor tells us that the concrete pour is scheduled for Tuesday. If an architect asks me to review drawings for a two-story modern house with a flat roof, I know what that means. I don't presume that the pitch on the roof is precisely zero. So when a person says that a house needs to breathe, the problem isn't that the language isn't technical enough or that it's not precisely accurate. The problem is that it's unclear what the person intends to communicate about the house. 